what I titled the mystery of grave clothes in the book of John chapter 11 verse 43 to 44 and when Jesus thus had spoken he cried with a loud voice Lazarus come forth and he Lazarus that was dead came forth bound hands and foot with grave clothes and his face was bound about with a napkin Jesus said unto them lose him and let him go beloved Coming out was not the problem, but walking freely was the problem. Restoration needed to follow his resurrection immediately. Grave clothes are filthy garments of limitation, stagnation, rejection and delay, worn on families by foundational powers through their generational altars. Every garment of filthiness on you right now, every grave clothes on you right now, that is reflective on your finances and your marriage and your ministry. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Remember the high priest in the book of Zechariah, an angel was ordered to remove his filthy garment. Remember blind Bartimaeus, the moment Jesus called him, he threw away his old filthy garment. When Elisha was about to receive a new double portion mantle from Elijah, he tore his garment child of God, until grave clothes are torn, glory garments cannot be worn. Grave clothes are those spiritual garments that pull people back to their foundation. Grave clothes are those that help us see on you and they don't want to help you. They don't feel like help you. They don't see any need to help you. The ones that make attempts suffer attack. It hinders progress and success. Give clothes make someone a candidate of abject poverty, perpetual pauper. Give clothes allows long life, allows birthday celebration, but stops any other form of celebration, housewarming party, marriage, graduation, and all sorts. Lazarus came back to life but was limited in life until Jesus said, Lose him and let him go. Hear me wherever you are. Give close of delay, limitation, rejection, and stagnation over your life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. I prophesy progress into your destiny. I separate your destiny from poverty. I separate your destiny from grave close of limitation. No more picking of snail or seeing tortoise in your dream. No more deadness in your life. Go forward from this day. Wherever you are, Take up this prayer point. Wake up one o'clock at midnight. Begin to tear every garment of filthiness, every grief clothes in your life and destiny in your children's life. Do it one or two, just one hour, and you see what God will do.